Don't talk so loud. Well, sometimes we got to talk loud for people to understand the situation at hand. What do you think, of Minnie the Body Shop Girl? I think Carr looks outstanding. I'll tell you what, this was, I, I would put this on the top five of uh, the worst restorations. The Body Shop, the Body Shop. Yes, uh, Southwest Ride Custom, my friend Pete's done, so. I, I don't know, probably the top ten. I've been in business a long time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the paint on there. We're going to get the clear. We don't need to see that in action. You're going to see the situation. We're going to get our uh, first uh, coat of clear on it. And we'll see you as we're color sanding it to put the final show quality clear on the vehicle. Welcome to DIY. Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. surface with 1500 now what this is doing if there's any trash that might have entered into the paint while we painted it it's going to remove that any type of debris or specks of dirt or anything like that and then it's also leveling the surface out and giving it, giving it a highly polished surface that we will be able to clear coat over. And this is in real time right here. We're not speeding the camera up. And when you do this, you don't have to sand it down like you're color sanding it ready for buffing. All you're doing is getting the surface prepped for clear coat. So we put two coats of clear on this. The Intercloak DVC 500 clear, and now we will put three coats, three full wet coats of urethane clear on top of it. Now, Minnie's still got to finish this fender, or did you already finish it? Oh, no, I missed a little spot. Okay. When you do this, you got to keep the muck off. Well, you tell me to grab the camera. Okay, you gotta so, get the muck off. You can't leave the muck on there. Muck and muck it for Okay. Me. And then if we come over here, if there was two spots right there, look at that. Can you see those little? Okay. So we had some trash that splattered out right there. And then I believe it was right there. So what I'll do is I will 
get my little uh, touch-up gun and I'll go ahead and blend some paint over those. This is a solid color so we won't have any problem blending. Now you really don't have to sand the jams because we're not going to color sand and buff those. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit them anyway. That will give it that extra shine that we're looking for. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. When he opens the door, it's going to look like a mirror. Doing this, doing this double clear action on your paint, what that does, just that, I'm telling you, this thing is going to be better and shinier than anything you've ever seen. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and mix my clear up. And we're going to go in there and put some clear on this thing. And we're on the downslide on this dog. We are almost done with Nightmare. So I'm using a medium solid clear on this. I'm not using a uh, high solids Euro, Euro clear. I don't like high solids clear. Uh, to me, high solids are super, super hard to buff. Um, they're a pain in the ass. And I am just not, I'm just not a high solids clear guy. That's all I can say. Uh, medium clears, they go on nice and smooth. Um, they buff really easy. They color sand really good. And I mean, you know, that's what I use. Okay. Uh, once again, we have... Got this all sanded down. You can see that it's been block sanded to 1500. And we are now ready to go ahead and shoot it clear. So I'm going to go get my spray gun and my mask, and I'll be right back. And what that's going to do, that's going to give me a nice, beautiful finish. And it should be like a mirror. I mean, you can already see the gloss just from sanding it. You can already see it. A year and a half, working on this thing for a year and a half. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm excited to see it done. Normally, I'm excited to see it done to uh, get it out of my shop. But this one here, this particular car here, I'm actually excited to see it done. 
and see how beautiful it turns out from all the hard work that my friend Pete did to it by myself. So just a short situation here. What I'll do is I'll buff it with my wool pad first at 1800. Then I'll take my waffle face foam pad at approximately a thousand, maybe yeah, about 1200, 1000 RPM with our uh, polish right here. Now the only buffing compound that I use is the 3M brand. That's it. I don't believe in all them fancy names and them neon colored bottles and all that other bullshit. The only thing we're going to use, and this is what I've used all my career, is the good old 3M rubbing compound. So let me get this thing buffed out because once we get this thing buffed out, we're not even done with it yet. Let me show you what else we got to do. We still got the deck lid. We got the hood that I've got to paint inside and out. We got both doors that need painted, color sand buffed. We got the sunroof, we can't forget about that, or should I say moonroof. Um, we're going to paint that inside and out. We got the fuel lid that has to be block sanded out for paint, and then we got a couple little pieces down there. So you can see we're about halfway done with this job. Um, painting all these little parts, it's actually a big situation to do that. It doesn't seem like it, but... When you're painting all these pieces and you got to color sand and buff all this stuff, it's a meticulous job and we'll get her done. We're going to get her done.
Well, we're getting down to the nitty gritty of this job. And when I say that, I'm talking about we're getting toward the end. Um, what you're watching me do here is I'm doing the final block sanding on the hood of this car. Now this hood, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, has caused me a lot of issues. This is what's going to make or break the car itself. Um, the owner decided to have this hood sandblasted inside and out, which was a very, very big mistake. The hood already had bodywork done to the hood before we sandblasted it. And then by sandblasting it inside and out, really took it to the core of um, trying to restore the hood. But uh, the difference in this hood versus the one that you might be looking at, this hood is approximately an inch and a half, inch and three quarters smaller in width, and then the grill itself is almost an inch and a half, inch and three quarters smaller in width as well. This is our final sand job, and this is what's going to worry me the most, is what this hood's going to look like once it's in paint. Now, the car itself came out really, really nice. For all the major body work that we had to do this, and the uh, destruction that this car was in when we started on it, this car, and I'm not going to take the car cover off, is, I would say the word, fabulous. I'm not trying to brag about my work, but this car really, really came out nice. Is I'm going to go ahead and finish block sanding this hood. Then I got this situation over here. Um, this is our moon roof cover, sun roof cover. I got to sand this inside and out. And then I'll get this installed as well. And then once that's done, we're ready to put all these bolt on parts in the paint booth and get them painted. Well, what we're doing is we are wrapping up our Nightmare Mercedes. What you're looking at is basically a 98.8% 98% done restored vehicle right here. And the camera, I'm sure it looks like it's black, but it's not, it's actually blue. And uh, what Minnie's doing is she's wiping off some of the scum and getting it prepped up to do the final wax job with it um, to get this baby loaded up on the trailer and down the road. What are you thinking? It's going to be nice as soon as I get it waxed. It's going to really look yeah. good, man. Put your hand right there, one. I mean, I mean, that looks good, but wait till I wax it. Yeah, it's going to... I mean, you can see, look at that, you can see the canyons and the... See I can see clouds. you. I see you in the paint. Okay, we see everybody there. So um, we finally got it painted. We finally got it done, and it turned out to be a beautiful job. We're almost done with this video set. It's been two years of forceful labor, and the car is turning out to be a beautiful, beautiful situation. I, I'm speechless, I don't know what to say, and uh, let's get this thing detailed out, loaded up on the trailer, and down the road.